Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss 10 cheap, low-budget items that are absolutely worth their money. One, a bottle of Saint-Hilaire Blanquette de Limoux. It costs about 12 to $15. And I know it's a mouthful, but bear with me. Remember when we shot the video on Is It Worth It? Dom Perignon Champagne? It was basically a $150 champagne bottle, and you can watch the details here. In a comment, a viewer shared with us his favorite budget alternative, which is the Saint-Hilaire Blanquette de Limoux from France. And so I tried it, and it's really an amazing sparkling wine that tastes pretty much like a champagne, but it only costs $12 to $15. Now you might wonder, isn't it just a cheap knockoff? And usually you argue against knockoffs and fakes. Actually, Benedictine monks in the Abbey of Saint-Hilaire invented this sparkling wine over 450 years ago, which was 100 years earlier than Champagne. So obviously, even though they were first, Champagne did a much better marketing and today is much more well-known and much more expensive. But that's good for you because you can get a quality sparkling wine at a fraction of the cost. Of all the sparkling wines I've tasted, the Saint-Hilaire Blanquette de Limoux is really a great price to value ratio. And best of all, it all comes in vintages, which means in specific years. So you get a top-notch quality, but it's different every time. You can find the links to all of these products in our in-depth guide on the website here. The second cheap item worth its money is bar soap. Most people use shower gels today, which is also cheap, but it's basically just soap with water. And so the cost per use is much higher than with bar soap. A regular bar of soap will cost you anywhere between two or three dollars and maybe 20, 25 dollars. But even the lower price models are oftentimes very good in quality. They have good fats like cocoa butter and shea butter. And so I suggest you take a look at the ingredients first. You can find bigger bars or smaller bars. One soap that I've been using over and over again is the L'Occitan Verbena soap. It comes in a three and a half or 100 gram piece and it costs about $14 in the US. It smells of lemongrass, it's very nice for your skin and I personally love it. Usually a bar lasts our entire family for half a year. The third inexpensive item worth its money is the Pilot Metropolitan Fountain Pen. It costs about $15. And if you remember, we recently did a video on is it worth it, the Mont Blanc Fountain Pen. Now Mont Blanc is very well known and you can easily spend over $1,000. A lot of people complained and said, well, that's crazy. So with the Pilot Metropolitan, you get a quality made in Japan pen that is very balanced with a nice ink flow and a nice nib in its price range and it won't break the bank and anyone can afford it. You can also personalize it. It comes in many different colors, including very popular black and silver colors. It also comes in two nib sizes, M for medium and F for fine. And while M is a standard nib size in the fountain pen world, F is really fine in this case, even finer than other brands, I think. And if you're used to writing with a rollerball or a ballpoint pen, that will be a good transitional pen for you. The fourth cheap item you want to invest in is a pair of really quality scissors, such as these KN5210. In my experience, a good pair of scissors is highly underrated. Personally, I get lots of packages. And when I design things, I have to cut fabrics and leather. And so a good pair of scissors is always on my desk. In the past, I would use those Scotch titanium blades, which you can get in three packs for five or six dollars at Costco. And they did the job. But once I had the KN5210, it was all different. They really cut consistently better with less effort. And they really just stay sharp for a long time. I've had it for over a year. I cut a lot with it and it's still great. It's so good you can even cut chicken bones with it and any other kind of meat in the kitchen, which is really not something you can usually do with a pair of scissors. The fifth inexpensive item you want to invest in is different shoelaces because they're very inexpensive, but they can really change the entire look of your shoe. As you know, buying new shoes, especially quality shoes, is very expensive. So if a new pair of shoes is not on the table for you right now, consider shoelaces. You can get them in 15 or 20 different colors. We'll have boot laces as well as shoelaces that are round and flat in quality waxed cotton. And as you can see on the same shoe, you create an entirely different look. Best of all, the look is reversible. So even if you have just one or two pairs of quality shoes and maybe four or even 10 shoelaces, you can immediately create 10 or 20 different looks. If you wanna learn more about shoelaces, how to lace them, how to tie your shoes and how to style them, please check out our other videos. And if you're interested in quality laces, check them out in our shop right here. The sixth budget item that's really worth its money 
is this knife from Rada. It's a serrated knife and I bought it three years ago at an antique show in Brimfield. At first, it seemed too cheap. It was a new knife for just $5, made in the USA, and I figured, how good can it really be? Because I was used to Japanese knives and German Wüsthof knives. After using it for a little bit, turns out it's a really excellent knife. Originally, it's called a tomato knife, and you can slice tomatoes excellently with it, but it also works for steak. It has a flexible blade, and because of that, you can cut melons, anything with a curve, any kinds of vegetables, apples, fruits. It's just a wonderful all-purpose knife, and I strongly suggest you get it, because it only costs about $7 shipped with Amazon Prime. Isn't that a deal? Rada also offers a range of other inexpensive knives, which are comparable to Ikea, but much better in quality. The seventh item worth its money is a tailor's ham. It costs about 12 bucks, and it's a little pillow filled with sawdust. It's much stiffer than a regular pillow that you may have on your couch or on your bed, and it's used to iron trousers or jackets, especially all the round parts, which wouldn't quite work on a flat ironing table. If you wanna learn how to use this tailor's ham, please check out our in-depth ironing series where I show you how to iron shirts, pants, as well as suits and jackets. By the way, if you're into ironing and you want quality creases in your shirt or in your pants or anywhere else, I suggest you get a clapper because it really helps to get perfect results. It's a simple piece of oak wood that has no sap and no rough edges. And if you buy it online, it costs about $25, but you can easily make it yourself. The eighth inexpensive item I've been using for years is the Nivea Sensitive Shave Ball. As you might know, I'm really into shaving and we created an in-depth shaving guide here. I tested way over 300 products and one item that I come back to over and over again is the Nivea Sensitive Shaving Ball. It costs between five and eight bucks. It's widely available in drugstores all over the world as well as online on places like Amazon. It works for all skin types, it smells good, it leaves a smooth result, and I've been using it for so long that I can safely say it doesn't harm your skin or is aggressive in any way. The ninth cheap item that is totally worth its money is Red Boat fish sauce. People who like Thai food or Vietnamese food are very much familiar with fish sauce, but it can also be used in any kind of other cuisine, such as American, French, or European cuisine. It has this characteristic umami flavor, which you can also find in meat, tomatoes, mushrooms, and many other parts. It's that fifth sense of taste that we in the Western world are not so familiar with, but it's very prevalent in places like Japan. Whenever I serve dishes to people that contain fish sauce, they're always like, mmm, this is so good. Wow, how did you get this flavor? And they can never tell it's fish sauce, but they always really like it a lot because it's flavorful, strong, but not fishy at all. You don't have to overdo it. A splash or two is enough to really boost the flavor of the dishes you create. Another thing I also use a lot is Better Than Bullion. Basically, it's reduced broth or stock that you can keep in your fridge. It's very easy to use and you can concentrate the broth in the way you would like. So you can have a very strong flavor or light flavor. It comes in many different varieties, such as chicken, beef, vegetable, mushroom, or fish. And so you can create nice bouillabaisse, for example, or other fish stews very easily without having to cook out any bones. Last but not least, the 10th item you should invest in is Gentleman's Gazette eBooks. Right now, we're giving away three of them for free I mean, what's better than free, right? So that's over 200 pages of in-depth content about classic men's style, such as black tie guides, white tie guides, or how to wear and combine shoes with socks and pants. Head over to our shop now, add them to your cart, and of course, if you wanna buy something else, we're honored, but you don't have to. Simply download them, enjoy them, and tell us what you think. Maybe even leave a review, we'd really appreciate it. Thank you. In today's video, I'm wearing a more casual outfit with a navy blue cardigan. It is combined with a red and blue checked shirt with a knit tie in navy and light blue. And because of that, it contrasts the navy cardigan. Depending on how I move with the light, you'll see the color changes, and it's a wonderful two-tone effect that you only get from Fort Belvedere silk knit ties, which I designed and which you can find in our shop here. My slacks are winter white wool flannels, which are heavy, but perfect for winter, and they provide enough contrast to the dark top part of my outfit. They have pleats because I have big thighs, as well as cuffs, and the shoes I'm wearing with them are dark brown with red contrasting shoelaces from our shop. Again, 
an entirely different look than if those shoes had maybe brown shoe laces. I had a look together with burgundy and off-white cotton socks that are over the calf from Fort Belvedere because they pick up the red in the shoelaces and in the shirt, but also the off-white color of the pants. I'm also wearing a rose gold pinky ring with a light blue stone that picks up the blue tones in my outfit. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably also like to see our 12 expensive items worth their money or 18 items every gentleman should have here.